sanguete cristiani, frates et sororos nulum. So, today we're talking about biochemistry. But before we get into it, I just want to... I just want to ask you guys something. I don't know what's been up with it. I don't know if you noticed it lately, but in some of my vids, it seems that the video isn't quite matching the sound. It's like you will hear the sound first, then about three seconds later, I'm going to start saying the sentences. It's weird. I don't know why it occurs, but I'm just asking if anybody knows why, if I can fix it. Originally, I thought it was because when I add the little... When I, when I add the notes inside the video, right? When I add those notes in, it slows down the, you know, the time. Because I noticed when I when I first play the video, I can actually see myself talking, and the sound is is completely synced with the video. You see? So I'm thinking it usually happens once the notes come up. That's when this, the you know the synchronization it gets offline. And I mean I don't know how to fix it. But if you have any tips or any hints of how I can fix that, please just comment them down below or DM me, and DM me at kinglacerna.com. No, at kinglacerna on Instagram. I'll, I'll put it right here. Probably already did. Anyway, what we're talking about, oh yeah, biochemistry. Bio, meaning life. Chemistry, meaning substance. What are we talking about here? And this part of biochemistry, we're going to talk about macro molecules so you know how micro means small so macro you think macro means right big so we're going to be talking about macro molecules big molecules right macro molecules are made of these tiny little things called monomers and those monomers are put together by bonds i think yes yeah, by bonds they're put together by bonds to make the big molecule, the macromolecule, right? So you have four types of macromolecules. They may sound familiar, I'm about to say them. You have carbohydrate, you have lipids, you have protein, you have nucleic acid. Two of those probably sound familiar. Carbs and protein, right? Well, every day you need a good balance of carbs, protein. My gosh. Carbs, proteins. Uh, lipids, fats, right? Lipids are basically fats. We'll get into that more later in the video. As for nucleic acid, our body naturally produces it. We don't need to consume or eat nucleic acid. Our body already has that inside of us. We don't need to go outside of our body for that. I don't even think any natural food carries nucleic acid. I'm not sure. I didn't ask my biology teacher once we covered this unit. We already covered like macromolecules because the way it works is after we cover a unit, like let's say there's a day before the test, I'll do a video, or after we just covered the unit, we covered this unit last week, so I'm gonna do a video on it, and anybody needs help, you know, in case we have to take the EOC, or anybody at my school if you're watching, but in case we have to take the EOC, you know, you can look back at this video, probably take the notes I put in here and study, right? Anyway, yeah, it's lipid, well, carbohydrates, lipids, protein, nucleic acid. So what is a carbohydrate monomer? We call these monosaccharides. For protein, pro, oh my gosh, oh, mosquitoes. Protein monomers are called, what is it called? Amino acids? Yeah, it's amino acids. As for lipids monomer, we call these fatty acids, like my biology, <laughs> my biology teacher would say, you fatty, fatty acids plus Glycible, glycible. I think I said it right, glycible. Hold on, I just got a text message. Wow, it's um, it's my group chat. You all remember having my screen, right? Remember this? I told this in one of my Bible videos. Anyway, yeah, you see? Remember for protein, it's amino acid. Now let's talk about lipid. No, I just said, okay, hold on, all right. I got confused when I talked about my phone. All right, what's our last one? DNA, right. So DNA, oh my, nucleic acid. I mean, mm. yes, nucleic acid. The nucleic acid, their monomer is nucleotides. All right, let's get some examples of some carbs, some carbohydrates. 
All right, so carbohydrates can be glucose, sugar, rice, bread. These are some examples of it. Now let's talk about um, lipids. What could be an example for lipids? You have fats, cheese, butter. Those can be some examples. For protein, what do you have? Protein, you have pretty much any meat, chicken, fish, steak. I'm not trying to make anybody sound hungry. I'm more of a vegetarian. Sometimes I do eat meat, though. I'm not going to lie. I, once I'm older, I'm, I'm going to stop eating meat. But for now, I'm not eating meat. Anyway, yeah, it's anything. It's like peanut butter, I think, think could be an example. I'm not sure about peanut butter. Peanut butter has more fat than protein. Um, yeah, steak, ribs, beans, amino acids. One big one, though. And we're just we're just now studying this. One big one, enzymes. That's a um, a protein. My biology teacher uses this phrase. He says all enzymes are proteins, but not all proteins are enzymes. That's the phrase that I advise you to remember. Now, let's talk about uh, nucleic um, nucleic acids. What's some examples? There's only really three that he shared with us: it's DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. RNA, ribonucleic acid, and ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So that's the um, examples of um, the examples of nucleic acids. Okay, so let's talk about the elements. All right, I may sound a little scientific scientific here. For carbohydrates, I'll just put the symbol down below. Carbohydrates, you have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Yes, carbohydrates, literally, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. As for lipids, you have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. Protein, the element is carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. For nucleic acids, you have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, um, I think nitrogen, and phosphorus. Yeah, I got all that right. All right, so that's the element name. Now let's look at some of their cellular functions. For, why do they keep texting me? Anyway, let's look at some of their cellular functions. All right. So, carbs provide fast, quick, just energy. You know. As for fats, they store energy for long-term use. You see, that's why it's kind of good to work out with no carbs. But then again, if you do that, you're gonna be exhausted fast. All right. But there's some more about the cellular function. I have more. All right. As for, um, I'm just going to name some of the basic functions now. Then I'll go back and tell you some more functions they do. For um, lipids. No, I mean, um, what I said? I said carbs, right? And proteins and lipids. All right. So, no, hold on. All right. So protein... Yeah, I was supposed to talk about protein. So, what's the, what are the functions of protein? They make your hair, nails, skin, muscles. That's kind of their function. For nucleic acid, what they do. Well, nucleic acids transmit heredity information. You know your genetics and stuff. All right, so let's go a little deeper into their functions. Just one second, because I have to see who's texting me. Okay, so carbohydrates. Carbohydrates use cells as energy. They don't use cells, but cells use carbohydrates as a source of energy. And also, for structural materials and cellular identification. The lipid function it stores energy, like just the basic function, and it provides protection. And it controls water movement.
Wait a minute. Was this video recording this entire time? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Alright. Hopefully I can... No, I don't even know how to trim it out. Anyway, alright. So, proteins. What do proteins do? I'm sorry I was gone. I was checking my phone. There's a lot of BS going on. Anyway, what do proteins do? So, proteins are chains of amino acids. They twist and turn, right? They twist and turn to certain shapes that will determine basically what the proteins will do. So that's kind of the main function of the protein. Even though there's other functions like hair, skin, nails, muscles, proteins also do that. Let's talk about nucleic acid. Basically just this basic function. I mean, all nucleic acids do is transmit, transmit, transmit heredity and genetic information and data. That's all it does. Or, or data. But that's all really, you know, that it does. Also, one for protein. This is what enzymes do, but remember, enzymes is a protein. They speed up the chemical reactions that go inside your body. That's the job of the enzymes. All right? So, well, that's pretty much it today. We had another lesson on biology. We talked about the biochemistry and macromolecules. Anyway, box at the motor. Valeu.